We will look now at a call fool's paradise and start with the song. Hungry for Jesus, day after day, I read my Bible, I'll always pray that the Holy Spirit will lead the way. I live for Jesus, day after day. Actually, there are no warning in the scriptures, you know, so that we do not live in the false paradise, even within uh, the church environment. You know, we have been forewarned. Philippians 3.17, brethren, join in following my example, and not those who so walk as we have us for a pattern. For many walk of whom I have told you often, and now tell even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ. I know growing up you know, in a church environment, uh, sometimes people try to make a distinction between ministers that in, the, in this particular minister of the gospel, you know, do what he says, not what he does. <laughs> there shouldn't be a separation between you know, what you say and your actions. You know? In other words, you should be an example. You know? And that is what Paul writing to the Philippians was actually saying, that look, look at the way that I walk. You know, uh, because see me as a pattern, and if anyone is not walking in the way in which I'm walking, in other words, my action does not bear out my faith. That person, you know, uh, is an imposter. You know, and that's why he refers to them as the enemies of the cross of Christ. And there are many of them in the church environment. Sometimes, if you are not very careful, you are not led by the Spirit. You can get into relationship or even in a married relationship with those individuals. It's only after marriage that you know that the scale will fall off your, off your eyes. You can enter the business relationship, you know, uh, but they are not reflecting Christ. And so if you are that kind of a person, you need to retrace yourself. Even if you are within the church environment, you know, all of us really need to be people that are living a life that is exemplary, a life that reflects Christ so that 